Amen. Amen. Truly give an honor to God, who is the author and the finisher of all of our faith. Amen. Truly thank God. Glad to be here today. Amen. 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 Good to see our mother in the house back with us. You see y'all know she had surgery. And she had been out for a while. The first day back. Come on, let's give God some praise. Yeah. Surgery went well. She, she's healing. And she's back in the house. Amen. Some people get sick and they use every excuse to stay at home Amen. instead of coming on out to the house of God. Amen. So we're grateful to see you today, Mother, that you made it out. Amen. And to anyone that is not a uh, regular who comes, we're grateful to see you. And I am so grateful to see all of you Amen. True Heart members here on today. Give yourselves a hand clap of praise. Amen. Grateful to be here in the house of God with each other one more time. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, Lord, is once more and again, you have allowed your children to come together. Though we may be small in numbers, but we're big in praise. Amen. We thank you today. For you said, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. We thank you, God, for what our eyes seen earlier and what our hearts felt. We do not take it for granted. We know, God, that your work was being done. No man can do these things except it be by God. So, God, we thank you for every deliverance, every healer, every strength, things that you did today in mighty works. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Now, God, we ask you to move each and every one of us out of the way that we see nor hear none of ourselves, but all of you. We bless you today for Elder Wimley, who's in the house with us. Amen. We thank you, God, for she also had been sick. Amen. And God, you healed her body and brought her back to help do the work in this kingdom. Amen. We bless you for all that you do. Bless you for Brother Sean who takes care of our video and our Facebook page. We just want to look around the house today. God, we bless every usher, Thank you, Lord. first lady, our deacon, our deaconess, our missionaries. We just bless you, God, for being a blessing to this place. In Jesus' name. And let the grateful say amen. amen. Let the thankful say amen. amen. And let the saved say amen. amen. Praises and honor and glory be unto God, who is the author and the finisher of all of our faith. <clears throat> this morning we're going to go to a familiar passage. God has had me deal with this for a while, and I think he's doing some serious teaching in this matter. Let's look at Romans, the 12th chapter. Romans, the 12th chapter, and start at verse 1. Romans 12, verse 1. Romans 12, verse 1. We need to learn, uh, my subject today, perfect will of God. Amen. The perfect will of God. I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, comma, holy, comma, acceptable unto God, comma, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, comma, that ye may prove what is that good, comma, and acceptable, comma, and perfect, comma, will of God. The ending of the reading of God's word. The perfect will of God. You may be seated. The perfect will of God. God has a will that he is requiring of us 
So in order for us to reach this magnitude, this is Paul, the author and the reader of this text, Paul. And Paul is basically stating that <coughs> first he says, I beseech you therefore brothering by the mercy of God. Amen. I, wanna, I don't want to rush through this because a lot of times we rush through these scriptures. Sometimes we give people like 25 scriptures and we listen to these scriptures because they sound familiar, we know them, and like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give you the scripture, I'm gonna give you the scripture, I'm gonna give you the scripture. But when it comes to breaking down the word of God and learning God's word, you don't really need a lot of scriptures. Amen. Because inside one scripture is so much meat. Amen. And I'm here as a pastor to, uh, to, to cut the meat, to, to break the meat down and give y'all little morsels. And you can chew and get some get some nourishment that'll help you. Amen. Amen. I don't want to just give y'all a bunch of chunks of meat. And eat that, eat that, eat that, eat that. You walk out of here, you still eat next week. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit. So we're gonna talk about these two verses. It's a lot of meat in these two little verses. Amen. First, we gotta know who's talking. It's Paul. Paul is talking to the Romans. Amen. That's why you're in the book of Rome. Yes. You're in the book of Romans because Paul is speaking to the Romans. And in the Old Testament with Paul, when you go through your Bible and you look at 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Paul talking to the Corinthians. Yes. You go to Rome, he talk to the Rome. You go to Thessalonians, he talk to the Thessalonians. You know, and so on and so forth. The, Philipp the Philippians, he talking to the Philippians. Yes. We're in Rome today. And Paul is teaching the Romans, <clears throat> not the Romans, the men that were Romans. He's talking to the church <clears throat> at Rome. Amen. Remember, Paul had went around and set up many churches. <laughs> feel like preaching. <laughs> As the Spirit had gave him utterance. If I broke this text down today, you might look at me as bishop and God may tell me to go set up a church in Williamsburg and tell me to go set up a church in Chesapeake. He might send me to a church in Suffolk and tell me to set up a church in Norfolk. And so I might be in Norfolk today talking to the North, Northtonians. <laughs> but so be it, I'm in Hampton talking to the Hamptonians. If I want to break this text down for you to get an understanding, you won't walk in here thinking, it's just a book, and he's just reading. I don't know what pastor talking about. I'm breaking down the text to let you understand the man Paul, which is me pastor, Bishop Porter, is, is taking a text, and he's speaking to the church that was established in Rome. Amen. The same way I'm speaking to y'all today, the church that God has established in Hampton. Amen. Don't look at this text and think he's talking to them. He's talking to you. Amen. Hamptonians. Amen. Amen. And so today, I'm going to be Paul. Amen. And y'all going to be the Hamptonians. Amen. And so as I read this text today, this ain't Paul talking to the Romans, or the, the Roman body. Mm -hmm. This is Bishop Porter talking to the true heart Hamptonians. Amen. 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 And so as I break this text down, I'm talking to you. Yes. When I say I beseech you, therefore, brothering, I'm talking to the body, yes. all of us in here. Beseech means simply, you know, uh, he's greeted them. Yes. It's like me walking in and saying, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Amen. I'm basically saying I beseech you, therefore, brothering. And as I begin to speak to you, I go on to say by the mercy of of God. Now I want you to begin to understand when you look at this text today. I walk in this church and say, I greet you this don't this 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 morning by the mercy of God. I greet you yes. by the mercy of God. Basically, uh, before we even get deep into this text, the first part of the text alone is strong. Yes. Basically, Paul is simply saying, uh, I'm saying to you this morning that we are all here this morning. Yes. Amen. You are sitting in your chair. Whatever it took from last Sunday to this Sunday to get here, yes. you ought to be able to say, thank you, God. Why? Because it's by the mercy of God that we're here. Amen. 
pastor saying, I greet you this morning by the mercy of God. See, we can't come into church and act like uh, we just here. We act like, you know, y'all better be glad I'm here. You can't come here acting like, you know, I knew I was coming this morning. No, none of that. You got to understand that you are only here today in the church by the mercy of God. Of God. That's the only reason why any of us here to this day. It's not because we've been so good, nor how righteous we think we are, not because uh, we deserve to be here, not because you anticipated last Sunday you will be back this Sunday. You are only here this morning because of the mercy of God. Amen. That right there alone should make somebody shout. And when you realize that there are people in ICU in the hospital. There are people laying in a funeral home. There are people they got buried this week laying in the grave. You are in the house of God only because of his mercy. And when you think about the mercy of God, it's, it's God giving you something that you didn't deserve. Y'all gonna make me shout up in here this morning. When God gave you life this morning, he could have took you last night while you were sleeping, while you were tossing and turning. You could have took the wrong breath and God could have said, last night while you slumbered and slept, but God touched you early this morning by his mercy. Not because we've been so good. No, because we're righteous. You're not here because you're saved. You're not here because God, you might have, you, you promised me. No, I didn't promise you today. He said yesterday. Give no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow is not promised. While you're sitting in the house of God today, we're sitting in here because of his mercy. I don't know about y'all, I'm grateful. I got something today that I did not deserve. Ah. Paul Bishop, I love this text. I love this guy because he and he addressed the church and he before he got into the text, he wanted them to understand that before I start telling you about God, I want you to understand how blessed we are yes. to be here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for showing mercy. Mm. Mm. Something that could have happened. And I want to I want to remind somebody today, it's not just he showed mercy to you. He, mer he showed mercy to our loved ones. Amen. Somebody, grandma, is still here today. Amen. Somebody's children is still here today. Amen. Somebody's mother is still here today. Amen. Somebody's father is still here today. Yes. Last night while you slept and because you woke up this morning, you ought to give God grace. You ought to be giving God some praise that you didn't get a phone call last night around 2, 3 in the morning saying, guess what? Not only did he show us mercy, yeah. he showed mercy to us by showing mercy to those we love. Yeah. You could have woke up this morning, but you could be devastated. Yeah. You could have woke up this morning, you could be depressed. Yeah. You could have woke up this morning with a mind, I ain't going to church. You know, I've been through too much this morning, and the morning ain't even started. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy! Subject again, the perfect will of God. Paul says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, here's the second part, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Stop right there. Now Paul's saying now that we understand why we're here because of mercy. He's saying the least that we can do because God spared our life, right? We ought to come into his gates with thanksgiving. And we ought to enter into this sanctuary with praise, right? We ought to be telling God when I come into the sanctuary, God, I present my body. 
a living sacrifice. Some of y'all witnessed this morning as God chose certain people and I touched them and you watched them lift their arms, tears flowing. Yes. They were saying to God, I give myself away. They're saying, God, I present my body yes. a living yes. sacrifice. Yes. We are never going to be able to serve God, to praise God. He said, I present my bodies. Bodies. Living sacrifice. Let's stop right there. Some of us, we come into church, but we ain't presented our bodies a, a living sacrifice. I want you to think about every organ in your body. Have you sacrificed it to God? Yeah. yeah I'm not talking about you look, you said to yourself righteous. You know, you, you know how we sit across the room and look at other folk and we can judge their lives yes. as if we perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have not really examined our own bodies. Amen. See, when we examine our bodies and ask the question, have I gave my body to God as a living sacrifice? Yes, amen. Yeah, God ain't concerned with all this stuff we thinking about. He wants you to present your bodies. God don't want just what you thinking. He want mind, body, and soul. Yes. The first commandment is, is to love thy God with all your heart, yes. with all your soul, yes. and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest yes. commandment. Amen. We come to church. I, I, I'm trying to get y'all, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to get us there. Amen. You know, coming to church or coming to this building is a purpose. We don't just come here to come. We ought to come here to sit down and say, I came to get the word today. Yes. I need the word, not because of him, not because of the, the name of the wall. I came to sit down. Getting the word of God is how you renew your mind. Because yes. <laughs> your mind is, 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 is terrible. Yes. We think things we shouldn't think. Yes. And thinking things we shouldn't think, then we act on the things that we thought about. Yes. Yes. So you got to come to church. You got to come. You got to sit there and allow your mind to be renewed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Things we don't thought this week that we shouldn't have thought. Yes. You got to renew that. Yes. I got to get. I got to. I, I got to clean my yes. mind yes. from all this stuff I'm going through. Yes. I got to clean my mind. That was uh, our sister Amanda was talking about this morning about how we got to give God praise not for this person, that person. You got to get your mind right. Amen. You can't be worrying about everybody else's mind. Yes. Your mind just cluttered with junk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you got to present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yes. Come. Amen. Stop right there. You got to come in and you got to present your body. A living sacrifice. Not just today. Uh huh. When you go to bed tonight, you ought to be praying and thanking God for the whole day he let you live. Amen. You got to get up in the morning. I keep talking about you got to have your morning prayer. And you got to start your day. Because it ain't promise. Yes. Amen. You might get a day. don't mean you're going to see the whole one. Uh -huh. A lot of times we, we get food. I woke up this morning. What am I going to do today? <laughs> Not even knowing if you're going to get to see the whole day. Anybody like me ever went through some things in your day and you say to yourself, I, I, things happened in the day that could have took you out? Yeah. I, I, I'm talk, I ain't talking to some real people. I'm talking to some real folk. I'm talking about that car that just grazed you, that, that, that going down the road, you, you took your eyes off the road for a second, and when you looked up, you was on the wrong side of the road and won't nothing coming. Yeah. Yeah. But an 18 wheeler could have been there and you would have picked your heads up and then boom, knocked all over the place. Come on. Right. Yeah. Because you took your eyes off the road for a minute. Amen. Gotta help me here today. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to some real folk. Yes. You know, talk to some people that that, that, that go through day-to-day -day things. Yes. And so God is saying when you wake up every day, we ought to wake up with a mind that I'm gonna present my body. Yes. A lot of times when we see body, we, we think of the outer portion. Uh, we look at the body mm -hmm. and you say, well, I'm going to present this, but we don't get down into detail. Right. You know, Amen. some of the things that we drinking, <coughs> smoking, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. you know, it ain't just drinking and smoking. 
and some of the other things uh, because we look at drinking and smoking and we see that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Too many Pepsis, it's bad. Drinking a monster is bad. Hang it up in here today. Uh, I'm talking to some real folk. I'm talking to some real folk. Anything that, that you can do that can be harmless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, see, see, that's what God is talking about. Presenting your body. I'm smoking, and I'm I'm hurting my lungs. That's right. That's not presenting my body a living sacrifice. Uh huh. I'm drinking too much alcohol. Amen. Strong my liver, yes. hurting my kidneys. Yes. That ain't presenting my body living sacrifice. Smoking too much weed, well. mm -hmm. just polluting my mind. Yes. Yeah, it might feel good. Uh -huh. uh, I know sometimes the world carry you through so much that you got to hit that joint. Well. Yeah, yeah. Not pastor. I'm talking about some of y'all just smoking that joint because you want to be like you know. Uh, the songwriter said, I give myself away. Yes. So you can use me. Some of y'all done turned that into a, a world thing. Amen. I give myself away. <laughs> yeah. You go into another dimension. Amen. Cloud nine. Amen. You can be what you want to be on cloud nine. You don't have no uh, responsibility. Smoking that joint, I ain't got no responsibility. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm on cloud nine. That's what cloud nine is. Yeah. You just sitting there with, a, with some shorts on and a tank top, and, and, and you just got one leg up, and you just sitting there in, a, in, 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 in like a beach chair yeah. with your straw head on. You know, you can do what you want to do. You, 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 you 10 miles away from reality. Uh, drinking that water, I mean that juice. I'm, I'm not listening here today. I want y'all to hear me. I'm not up here trying to beat up on nobody. I'm not. I'm not talking about no weed. I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm not talking about uh, smoking no cigarettes. I'm talking monsters. So whatever we are doing, this sermon is not about beating up people. The sermon is about you sitting there taking a, 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 a check up from the neck up. That's, that's what I want you to do. I want you to look, I want you to renew your mind today. Because he, the true battle is within you. It ain't with people. The true battle is you got to begin to ask yourself a question. You know, here's the one I'm asking. Am I tripping? Because all of us at time to time tripping over something. Amen. I ain't got no help in here. Amen. I'm here today. I'm talking to real folk. I'm talking to real folk. We tripping over something. Amen. You might go around and, and fool your mind. You know, we can we can convince ourselves to believe whatever we want to believe. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't got no help in here today. I'm talking to real folk. Amen. But Paul's saying that we got to present our bodies, yes. meaning that if we're going to live for the Lord, we got to present our bodies. Yes. Mm -hmm. A living sacrifice. Uh -huh. Some people overeat us. Mm -hmm. Don't see none as a sin. Overeat. Every time you go to the restaurant, anytime you go to the restaurant, I don't want to go down there because I get in trouble. Anytime you go to a restaurant, and every time you go, you got to take some home. Well, yeah, yeah. Restaurants today, they don't got even better. Restaurants today, every time you turn around, you need you need a you need a a, 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 a bag a, a box to go. Cause that that's telling them that you don't order too much food. Uh, the menu tell you uh, uh, I'm I'm, talk, I'm preaching to myself. The menu tell you uh, ribs. You want a half a rack or a whole? Don't y'all get like Bishop. All right, I'm, don't, Lord, you making me tell on myself. You got me telling on myself up here. Uh, give me the whole. First thing you look at me like, John, come on. You know, don't do anybody here get mad when some people tell you the truth? Anybody like that? I look right at them. Don't you worry about me. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get something to take home. And then, uh, 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 Lord, y'all got to pray for Pastor Day. God got me confessing. Get home. And, and walk right in the house and, and put the half a rack in the refrigerator. And they stay there until we throw it away. Because you know after two days, you'd be like, I ain't eating that. Living sacrifice. You know, that, that, that's my eyes being, 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 being more uh, greedy. Greedy eyes. Want more than what I'm supposed to have. 
hand up here today. That's why we got to start living and dealing with the real things in our life. Like in Bible see, see, God know we're gonna make mistakes. God know we're gonna make mistakes. I don't know who you are in this room that's lying to yourself. We all no, I ain't talking about the false. So I'm talking about we all make mistakes every day. We, 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 we are work in process. But that's the key. Are you in process? Because God said in all your getting, not y'all, me, me, man, he talking to me. In all your getting, Bishop, get some understanding. The next time your wife tells you to get a half, that's what you get. You get a half a rack. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta touch him again. <laughs> he up your heart and hey, don't forget about your son telling you something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he beat me up too. I I'm trying to stay in the text. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Come. Then the next word on here is holy. Yeah. I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, karma, and the next thing is holy. Amen. Notice the difference between presenting your body, living sacrifice. That's the key word, living sacrifice. Because yes. a lot of times we'll just, we'll, we'll do a conjunction. Living sacrifice holy. Uh -huh. Just let them run on into each other. Right. It's a comma. Yeah. Living sacrifice is, is, some, is different from holy. Yeah. A lot of us, we, we ain't even living the sacrifice, so forget the holy. Well, and a lot of us calling ourselves holy and ain't got no living sacrifice. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, 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 they two different things. Living sacrifice means you have to give yourself away. And just because you're giving your, a lot of folk down here today, they gave their self away, cried tears, lift their hands, and they was a living sacrifice, God, I give myself away. Don't necessarily mean that what they did today put them in the category of being holy. Amen. Holy is, 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 is a way of life. Yes. 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 God wants us to understand, stop coming to church just hearing the word, but not being a doer. Living sacrifice means you got to be willing to give yourself away. Amen. Holy means it's a way of life. Amen. God is telling you, first you got to have the will to sacrifice, yeah. livingly, living sacrifice, yeah. and then karma, now, walk holy. Yeah. 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 God said, we got to learn, we got to learn the basis of Christianity. Uh, you got to understand that being a living sacrifice is totally different from being holy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm, I'm going to stop drinking, no, excuse me, I'm going to stay, stay on me. I'm going to stop getting the whole rap. Amen. That's a living sacrifice. Yes. I'm giving up something. Yes, right. yes, right. That don't mean I'm holy. Because I stopped eating a whole rack of ribs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm looking for ribs Friday night. Where are my sisters at? They know. Sister, Sister jo Wilson right there with me. Her and Jay beat me up. If they got ribs on the menu. Both of them told me, I said no ribs on the menu. No I had to ask the man, so y'all got some ribs? No they looked at each other like and said, so he don't believe us. No, no, no. He being Thomas today. He doubted me. When the guy came back and said no ribs, everybody got quiet at the table. I'm not even talking about me. Well. Yeah. Like they ain't had no shortcomings. Oh. <laughs> He gave us sweet tea. It was so sweet. It was diabetes in a cup. I'm, I'm standing in the text. I'm standing in the text. See, here's what y'all got to understand. I'm being real. We having a good time, but I'm being real with this preacher. Because I thank God today I got to understand there would have been a time in my life that I would have sit there and drunk that sweet tea as sugary as it was. And I would have been like, oh man, this is good. But I'm getting older. I'm getting wiser yeah. and I'm getting better. Yeah. Uh -huh. My son said, Dad, take some water and pour it in your tea yeah. and you can get some of that, you know, diluted. Yeah. Yeah. And I listened. Amen. And the next thing I knew, I went from drinking water tea to drinking just water. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 See, I told you, all of us are, we are, pro we, we are, we, we are process. We, we in work. I'm sitting here, Bishop, looking for ribs. Uh -huh. I'm sitting here trying to, def you know, they ain't got nothing to do with church. 
He, we, we so holy that we know earthly good. Yeah. yeah. We so holy we know earthly good. Everything we do walking on this earth, we got to be. Y'all met people like that? Every word out their mouth, you can't even. Can I get a can I get a a, a, a large uh what you call it a a, a, a a full rack? The man asking me for my menu, sir. What's your order? Can I get a rack of ribs? Praise God. <laughs> the man probably look at the book, uh, sir. We don't have no praise God on here. <laughs> Uh, sweet tea uh, full of uh, with all the work. No, not sweet tea. Give me a, a, a sweet potato with the with the with the holy with all the works. Yeah, yeah. Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Man, like I, I got I, I got a uh, I got a sweet potato, uh, but we ain't got no glory, hallelujah. Is that something? I, I go back in the back and check. No, that, that's what I'm telling y'all we be doing every day of our life. We walk around here so holy, we ain't no earthly good. You can't reach folk like that. Amen. You, you, you got to reach folk that, that you got to be, Paul said, the same man, Paul said, I will come down from where I am that I may be able to reach. Amen. You got to reach folk. Amen. Now I ain't telling you to go into uh, 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 a place, a shack house where they selling liquor, alcohol. Right. Don't go in there to bring people out and, and win them to Christ. Uh -huh. And then you yourself end up, they winning you. <laughs> you went into there to pull people out to tell them about God. And next thing you know, you send around the table. Another round, please. <laughs> Let's be real. Amen. Yeah. You point to be in there converting people, they done converting you. See, y'all are sitting here laughing and playing with me, but y'all know this is true. We go after people, I'm gonna go and win this person to the Lord. They done, they done discourage you. Where's sister brother so-and-so next week? Oh, they ain't come to church. What's wrong? They 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 going through. They and they they going because you done went there, you can go mess with people that's deeply depressed. And if you keep talking to them, you will be deeply Mm -hmm. That's why you got to live your life a holy sacrifice because the way I saw the young people out here today laying before the Lord, prosperous, giving them, they they were they were things were falling off of them. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta help you here today, y'all. I'm telling you, I think comes real for when you start to laying prosperous before the Lord and you open up your arm, open up your arms is a sign of surrender. Amen. Amen. You can't stand like this. That's why to pray for you. That's right. That's right. That, that's not a sign of you want something. Yeah. To lift your arms before God is saying a uh, 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 a monkey, a uh, gorilla, or uh, some a uh, animals, they would come and, and bow down to the the leader of the group and lay hand like this to say, you know, ask can I go do this? Uh -huh. Respect. Yes. Yes. How are we gonna go to God any kind of way? Come on, okay. You want God to 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 break your shackles. You asking God to, to take you to another level and you're gonna go to him like this. Yeah, go ahead and lay your hands on me, Pastor. Yeah. You got that, you got this, you got that pause, yeah, like you, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm cool. Oh, no, yeah. you got to lift your holy hands oh, and drop your hands yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a pause of surrender. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, do what you gotta do, God. Yeah. Amen. You got to make that body loose. And then we got to start living holy. Yes. Yes. Jesus said in the word that we're supposed to be holy as he is holy. Yes. Yes. That's the word. Yes. God don't want you to just keep living this life, just living this life, just living this life, and one day you die. Amen. He wants you to wake up every day, first of all, grateful yes. that I got to see a new day. Yes, now I want to thank God that I'm going to with my sister Paula. Jesus. So sister Paula right there. We went to celebrate her Friday. Amen. She got her RN license, right? She accomplished something. Amen. Amen. Sister Paula didn't accomplish her RN license by just uh, missing class. Well, she didn't accomplish her RN license by just sitting there not trying to learn nothing. Amen. Okay, that's how we do. Uh, we come to church when we want to, but we want to, but we want to, we want to get our. We want to get our uh, we want to get our certificate one day. Uh, we want to hear God say, "Well done, yeah. Yeah. Sister Paula." When she walked up there and got her lamp, uh, whatever the, the lamp was called, they gave her a lamp. They they let somebody come up and pin 
the, the, the stuff on her, everybody was clapping. Why? It was a celebration. Yes. It's a celebration yes. that Sister Paula accomplished yes. something. Yes. She had to take time. She had to walk through things. She had to do something to get it. Yes. If you want to hear God, if you want to be at the great celebration, yes. if you want to stand there and watch God pin something on you, yes. uh, if you want to hear he going to pin on well done. Yes. Uh, he going to pin it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't just going to the celebration and get there, you know. Because I, I can probably ask Sister Paula today. She probably would tell us. There were more people that started out in that class. Uh -huh. Things happened mm -hmm. to distract them. Yes. Yeah, Sister, uh, Sister, uh, to Sister Taj. That's right. She's still in class. She's still yeah. going, uh, right? Amen. There's amen. things that in her life right now that's distracting her. Yeah. Times that she might feel like, you know what? It's getting to be too much. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead on and just quit. Yeah. That's what the devil wants you to do. But see, what God is saying to Sister Paula and Sister Taj and the rest of us, if you can endure that, <laughs> if, you, if you wanted that that bad, that you didn't let nothing stop you, that you pressed your way, even when you was tired, you still went. When you didn't feel like going, you still went. So now when you're selling here, standing here receiving the celebration, amen, then you cannot think you're going to heaven just doing nothing. If it took that to get that, uh -huh. then God is saying, you got to do something to get this. What? You got to live holy. You got to, have, you got to, you got to be a living sacrifice, and you got to be holy. Why? You got to get up every day with a mind made up that I'm going to live for you, God, if I want to hear well done. You got to put well done in front of you. Yes. And back here, you got to work You got to work towards what you want. There are going to be times I don't feel like going to church. Think about the think about the, the RN and say, you know what? I ain't feel like doing that. But guess what? God said, uh, only what you do for Christ. Uh -huh. If I want to hear well done, I got to keep walking. If I want to hear well done, I got to keep pressing. If I want to hear well done, I got to keep enduring. When my friends say, give up, I got to say, no, not today. I got to keep moving. When people pulling your coattail telling you, mommy, mommy, I need you to do this. You got to be like, TC, grab the little baby because I got to keep on keeping on. The people in your life that they don't want it, you got to say, well, that's what, I know you, this ain't for, this ain't for the faith and heart. Amen. Everybody can't go. Everybody will not hear well done. Amen. Y'all got God speaking to me. Because God says, you know, he, he tells us all the time that the, the only the, those who hunger and thirst uh, if you think you went through something to accomplish, I can get off you, Sister Paul and Sister Ty. I'm going to slide on over here to Van Quisha. See how I slid right on over there like that? Yeah, came right on over here to Van Quisha. See, y'all better be careful when y'all be standing up uh, testifying. Yeah, I want to let everybody know I got my uh, license. And then God looking at you going, okay, yeah, yeah, you got your license. Yeah. But if you went after that license and you took that test and you passed and you want everybody to know, I passed, Bishop, I passed. That's why I said to her, hopefully. See, she said it to back to me. Pastor said, hopefully. No, pastor don't say stuff to say it. I said, hopefully, because I wanted her to understand that you accomplished something, right? But I want to make sure you realize what the real prize is. Amen. That RN ain't going to heaven. That RN license ain't going to heaven. That, that, that CDLs ain't going to heaven. When they bury you in that grave, they can put your license right in there with it. Uh -huh. And you won't be driving no buses down in hell. You won't be healing nobody down in hell. Amen. So you got to do it. Well, only what I do for Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to take that RN license. You got to get in that hospital. And you got to be learning your word. That while you're in the hospital, God can infiltrate you. He'll have you in there undercover. Hallelujah. You in there undercover. They see me as a license. They see me as a nurse. God sent me in here to deliver. They, they, came, they thought I came in here to heal. But I came in here to set the captives free. You going into the hospital undercover. I might dress like you, but deep down inside, I ain't looking like you. Uh -huh. You want me to take the blood that they take their blood. God 
somebody saying, no, I am the blood of life. That's what I want you to do. When they land in the hospital and they're sick bed, when they don't have no hope, God want to take your mouth and speak a word to them to let them know that goodness alone won't save you. And you driving that bus and you got your CDLs down, you driving the bus, but what? who are you driving? When you stop and pick people up, just like driving the van at the church, you stopping to pick people up on the bus route, you got to learn what God gave you the CDLs for. You on the bus route, they getting on. After you see the same person on the route every now and then, and they said, girl, I'm tired. You're going to be preaching to them. You're going to be teaching them. You're going to be showing them, bringing them to church. If you don't get them to church, get them to Christ. Get in your word. Now you can't say, well, God, I, I really don't understand the word. You understand that, that word to get them license. You took that test. See, because if something we really want, we're going to go get it. If something we really want, we're going to go get it. Man, y'all don't know who God, the creator, Come on, y'all. I once was lost. I got saved in a house with a bunch of brothers. I'm trying to tell y'all about this thing. I got to finish this sermon. I got saved in a house in Philly. Saved in a house in Philly. I didn't get saved in no church. I didn't get saved in no building. I'm talking about show enough save. Huh? The day God saved me, I ain't missing church. Ain't nobody got to come pump me up. Because what God give you, he give you that show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, give, he, give, he saved me with that. Once any man be in Christ. I ain't get saved because I felt the moment. Tears flow. I got up and walked down the aisle. People start clapping. That, that feeling will last. It, it, it'll, it'll last for a moment. But when God save you, oh my God, yeah, he, he'll, give you, he'll give you something. He'll give you a desire to want to read the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll, 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 he'll save you from that. Uh, as Sister June was reading Psalm 51, he'll, God will save you from the, from the uh, secret parts. Uh, uh, he he wants you to see the truth from the hidden parts. Make me to know wisdom. Thank you, God wants us to walk holy, people. Amen. Holy is, is not a word. Holy is not what you put behind a church. You know, the holy, the holy Bible. Amen. The Bible is the, the Bible is a Bible. But what makes it holy? Because what's in it is pure. Hallelujah. Uh, holy Bible, holy bishop, holy John. Holy deacon, holy deaconess, holy first lady. The word holy symbolizes something. Amen. Holiness is a way of life. Amen. What does the cross mean? Is it just a song we sing? Is it just a, 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 some, some symbol? Amen. Some symbol I wear around my chain. What does the cross mean? No, it's a sacrifice that Jesus died on it. Amen. The cross means a way of life. Christ died on the cross that we may live. Amen. Holiness is not something we say. Holiness is something we live. It's a way of life. It's, holiness is like RN. You, you, you are RN with a purpose. Amen. And you're going to work every day to, pers to pursue a particular job. Mm -hmm. Amen. But now you're Paula. And you got to walk holy. Amen. You use the title that God gave you. But put the holiness in it. And walk worthy. Amen. Amen. You take the LCNs. License, Sister Van Quisha, that God gave you, and you put Van Quisha because that's who you are, but you put the holiness in it. Yes. Holiness is what I live for. Yes. Holiness is what I am. Yes. Holiness. That's what you need to be able to hear yourself saying. Holiness, holiness 
is what I live for. That's what we got to get up and do, folks. Every day of our life, we got to give up. We got, I mean, we got to get up and we got to walk worthy. We got to, we got to look at our lives. We only get one shot. And we got to walk worthy. We got to walk holy. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. I'm going to say it again. He said, holy and acceptable. Keep reading. It's right there in your scripture. Unto God. Yes. Which is our reason, sir. What does that mean, Pastor? Holy and acceptable. God is saying, I want you to walk holy. Guess what? Here's it. Holy, comma, is right there. Holy, comma. Then he says, acceptable. Everything you do is not acceptable to God. Don't walk around here fooling yourself, saying, I'm a living sacrifice, comma. I'm holy, comma. And Amen. Acceptable. God did not tell you to be acceptable. He said acceptable unto God. Not acceptable unto your job. Not acceptable unto coming to church. Not acceptable to people. Acceptable to God. To her, well done. You got to be a living sacrifice. One. Two, holy. Amen. Three, acceptable unto God. Yes. And then number four, that's what he's saying. Your reasonable service. Anybody know what reasonable service means? This is God talking to us today. A reasonable service means that's the least you can do. Amen. I feel God today. I'm about to close. Thank you, Lord. But I want you to feel what he's putting in me. For the mere fact, I woke you up today, yeah. uh, 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 uh. right, by my mercy. Mm. I woke you up today by my mercy. Point one would be, I want you to be a living sacrifice. That's point one. Amen. I preached on it. Point two would be, you need to walk holy. Yes. Point three would be, acceptable. acceptable unto the Lord. Thank you, Elder. And four is not a point. It's the close. The closing of the text, which is reasonable service. Meaning, because I woke you up, you have a desire to do these things. And I'm going to tell you why we should be doing those things. Four was last should be first. <laughs> Last says, which is your reasonable service. Yes, yes. In order to accomplish one, two, and three, you have to already come to understand because you woke me up this morning, the least I can do yes. is be a living sacrifice. Because you woke me up this morning, the least I can do is walk holy. Because you woke me up this morning, the least I can do is be acceptable unto you, God. Now my day is, has a purpose. Now my day has a purpose and my life has a meaning. My life has a meaning. Why? Because now I realize you woke me up this morning and the least I can do because you woke me up is be a living sacrifice. And I need to walk holy. And I need to be acceptable, meaning God don't want you to tell him what you feel is acceptable. Yes. God wants you to, to live a life every day that you're trying to please yeah. him. Yeah. If you live yesterday and you did not strive or live to please God, your day was in vain. Yeah. You should have woke up yesterday morning, but guess what? Y'all ready? Yesterday is gone. And tomorrow may not be mine. But today, the day you hear my voice, heart not your heart. God is saying, I'm not going to hold you accountable for yesterday. I'm not even going to hold you accountable for all the years. But today, you heard Bishop telling you, that mercy woke you up. Amen. And the least you can do 
is be a living sacrifice. Amen. Mercy woke you up, yes. and the least you can do is walk holy. Yes. Mercy woke you up, and the least you can do is be acceptable unto God. Yes. You ought to walk around every day when you're trying to make decisions. The first thing you should ask yourself is, God, would God be pleased with this? Yes. I'm smoking weed. Is God pleased? I'm drinking alcohol. Is God pleased? No. I'm running women. Is God pleased? I'm doing, I'm doing this and that. Is God pleased? You ought to be able to examine yourself by comparing what you do to God. Y'all are more ashamed of what folk think about what you do. And you should be ashamed of what God thinks. Here's, here, here's the trick to the to this, I'm about to get out, Troy. Here's the trick. Huh? See, we can do things in the dark and hide from folk. And then you walk up to them and look them in the face, and they don't know your, your dirt. That's right. So you can, you can look at them because you're like, they don't know what I'm doing. That's right. They don't know my dirt. That's right. But here's something you need to understand. Uh -huh. You can go in the dark. God's there. <laughs> you, you can do whatever you want. God sees all. Oh, and those are. Yeah. Now, why should we come into church? Why should we get up every day and live a life? I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to tell you why you ought to do those three things. Number one, mercy woke you up. Yeah. Right? The least we could do is live a living sacrifice. Mercy woke us up. The least we can do is be a living sacrifice. Here's why we should be a living sacrifice. Here's why we should walk holy. And here's why we should be acceptable to God. Y'all wanna know why? Because God has seen all you do. All day long. He's seen all the mistakes you made. And the next time he, if he wake you up the next day, out of what you did yesterday, and he woke you up, he wakes you up tomorrow, seeing the horrible what you did yesterday. He's letting you know, in spite of what you did, I still love you. And you still don't want to walk worthy. You still don't want to live a sacrifice. You still don't want to be holy. You still don't want to live that you may be acceptable unto Christ. Every day you get up, you ought to thank God. Thank Every day that you get up, you ought to look towards heaven and say, God, what I did yesterday, you still woke me up today. You still gave me another chance. Why? Because God is not a God that would lie. His words say, I look beyond all your faults. And I still meet your needs. What the devil tried to do for you that was bad, God is saying, I love you. I'll turn it around for your good. I'll turn it around for your good. Who won't serve a God like this? Who won't serve a God like this? There is nobody. Nobody on this earth that would love you when you've done them wrong. You did what we did in his face. And we called it clean. And the next day, he still showed mercy. Yes. Still touched you this morning, woke you up, and gave you a, a that's what he do. He gives us another opportunity to write what is wrong. God, we thank you today. The perfect will of God. The perfect will of God. I want y'all to think about this. Start striving to live to be a living sacrifice. Start striving to live holy. And most of all, strive to be acceptable. The things you do, that they be acceptable unto God. Sister Paula, you had to, you didn't get that degree just because you got it. You got it because the people who signed the paper, they felt that you had did all you should have done, so they felt that you was acceptable to receive this reward. But here's a God. He ain't like man. 
He like, man, you would have missed some days. You wouldn't have got that certificate. That's right. uh -huh. You wouldn't have crossed every T, dotted every I. You wouldn't have got your certificate. Uh -huh. if, if you wasn't what they wanted you to be, if you wasn't acceptable to them, you wouldn't have got that certificate. Amen. But here's a God. That, that, that we don't we don't live living we don't our lives ain't living sacrifice every day. We're not walking holy like we're supposed to be. We're not doing things that's acceptable in his sight. And at the end of the day, he still said, I chose you. Amen. 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 When the world turned their back on you, God said, I chose you. And I love you. Amen. And I love God because you don't take your past and bring it in your face. Amen. I love God so much because he'll hide your issues. Yeah. If he knew, if they could find this out, they'll talk about you. They'll scandalize you. They'll run you down. And God will take and hide us in his bosom yeah. to protect us yeah. from them, Amen. from our haters. Yeah. Who would serve a God yeah. like this? Amen. The Lord is in his holy temple. Yes. Let all earth keep silent before him. Amen. For David said, I was glad yes. when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord where our feet may stand at the gates of Jerusalem. The gates of Jerusalem is the entry into the kingdom of God. Amen. You want your feet to stand at the gates of Jerusalem. Amen. That's what they talk about, that beautiful gate. Amen. When we go to heaven, that's that gate. Man. The gate that the gateway to heaven is the gate of the gateway of Jerusalem. Amen. You know, and that's that beautiful. Amen. They say when you when you get past the gate of Jerusalem, the, the streets are paved with gold. Yes. I want to go. Yes. I don't know about you. I want to go, but I realize in order for me to get there, yes. in order for me to go, yes. I'm walking that journey right now, mm -hmm. walking that judgment seat right now, mm -hmm. I got to make this body. This body that's trying to carry me to hell, I got to make it a living sacrifice. Amen. I got to kill flesh in order for my spirit man to live. Amen. That's a living sacrifice. I got to kill it daily. Yeah. Things come in my mind shouldn't be there. I got to be like, in the name of Jesus, Amen. get thee behind me, Satan. Why? I'm, I'm a living sacrifice. Amen. Before I take this drink, I got to realize this is not going to be acceptable to God. Put that mess to the side. Amen. Holiness is a way of life. Amen. Holiness is not what we say. It's what we do. Amen. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm done. Amen. God bless y'all. Put your hands together. Come on, you do better than that. Give God some praise. Amen. The perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. While you're yet standing, while you're yet standing, there may be someone here today. Under the sound of my voice, God is speaking to you. You're looking for a church home. If you're here today, and God is ministering to you, here's your opportunity. Don't put off today for tomorrow, because tomorrow is not promised. The Bible says, the day you hear my voice, choose ye today who you're going to serve. No man can serve two masters, but one you love and the other one you hate. If you're here today and the Spirit of God is speaking to you today, come, come, come to this fountain so rich and sweet. Cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made complete. Come, come, he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Arm wide open. Give me your hand and give God your heart. He's waiting for you today. Hallelujah. He's waiting for you. If you're coming, some may come for a candidate of baptism. Never been baptized, you need to be baptized. Today will be a good day to come to be baptized. May, someone may be coming as a Christian experience. I know God, I'm saved. I just need to rewrite some things. Amen. I'm coming as a candidate as Christian experience. Amen. Some may be coming because you never know God no day of your life. You're coming as a candidate to give your life to the Lord. 
doors of the church is open. The Lord is calling you by your name. The perfect will of God. God bless y'all. Have a smile upon you. Put the blessed hands together. <laughs>